Namaste. It is a great honor to be speaking today as India takes over the G20 presidency. The theme of India's presidency, one earth, one family, one future, perfectly sums up the future of global technology as well. At no time in history have we seen faster development of new technologies. Emerging tech is fundamentally reshaping our economies and our daily lives. It's unlocking previously unimaginable gains in global health and prosperity, while also presenting new challenges to our values and security. Something that I spoke about at the UN Committee on Counterterrorism just last month. India and the United Kingdom are ideally placed to use our science, technology and digital leadership to meet these challenges and maximize these opportunities. Next year, I'll launch the UK's first ever international tech strategy to set out our global vision. As the world's largest democracy and a powerhouse for talent and ideas, India will be at the front and center of that. My friend and colleague, Dr. Jai Shankar and I are taking forward our comprehensive strategic partnership and delivering our 2030 roadmap. Our vision is to re-energize our relationship through trade, investment, and renewed collaboration to improve the lives of all our citizens. Tech runs through it like gold zari. Together, we are a formidable team. We top our region's rankings in the Global Innovation Index. Bengaluru is the fastest growing tech hub in the world. London is number two. Uh, our two countries both believe in innovation as a force for good. Last year, the UK attracted over a third of all the tech investment in Europe. India and the UK have one of the biggest herds of tech unicorns in the world and some of the greatest AI capabilities. We have a superb academic and research base and four of the world's top 10 universities are found in the UK. The number of Indian students coming to the UK has more than doubled in the past three years. We want to make Britain even more attractive for tech talent. So we established our global talent network in Bengaluru this month. This complements a young professional scheme that will open in early 2023, offering young professionals from the UK and India a once in a lifetime opportunity to benefit from new professional and cultural experience. The UK is India's second largest research partner across 200 projects, 175 institutions and 100 companies. And now we are increasing research and development funding to £20 billion by 2025. We expect £1.5 billion of digital services to India and India's tech giants like Tata and Infosys support over 30,000 UK jobs. We're already working together in so many ways to mobilize technology in our shared struggle against disease and against climate change. But I also want to see democracies like ours address other challenges, the sinister side of the digital age. We've learned over the past 20 years that without the right values built in from the start, tech can create serious problems. And there will always be those who see in each new opportunity or new innovation, a new opportunity for crime or repression. Just as we want to protect our natural world for our children, so we need to ensure our digital world is free, safe and peaceful. In the UK, we've introduced an online safety bill, placing us at the forefront of effectively regulating social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. And the UK launched our new national cyber strategy earlier this year, and I'm excited by the progress we can make towards creating a free, open, peaceful, and secure cyberspace, including by securing our digital infrastructure. I hope that our upcoming free trade agreement and strategic tech dialogue will unlock great opportunities for both our countries. With the talent of our people, our democratic values, and our global connections, India and the UK can use the transformative power of tech to overcome the world's biggest challenges.